Hello mga Kakit Angels! Welcome back for another Mathinic episode! This is Teacher Mika and this is Teacher Joyme. Today, we will learn about sets, subset universal sets, null set cardinality of sets, union and intersection of sets, and the difference of two sets. After going through this module, you are expected to illustrate a well-defined set, illustrate a subset, universal set, null set, cardinality of set, and analyze union, intersection, and the difference of two sets. But before we proceed, let's have an activity first. Group and label the objects below according to their characteristics. Write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. You have one minute to do this task. After you label and group the objects, answer the following questions. First, why did you group the objects as such? Second, how many groups are there? And lastly, what are the names of the groups created? Take note of your answers. Our first lesson is all about sets. Your previous activity wherein you were tasked to group objects of the same kind is connected with our discussion for today, which is all about sets. The groups are called sets. In other words, they may be thought as a collection of objects. Here are some examples. A set of shoes, a set of modules, and a set of students. In mathematics, set is a well-defined group or collection of objects that share common characteristics. The objects contained in the set are called elements. Remember that the set is well-defined if its elements can be determined without doubt or question. Also, sets are usually denoted by capital letters such as A, B, C, D, up to Z, and the elements, on the other hand, are usually denoted by lowercase letters. We use braces to group the elements of set separated by commas. If a set contains many elements, we often use three dots. This is called the ellipsis. Note, in listing the elements of the set, each distinct element is listed once and the order of the elements does not matter. There are two ways in writing sets. The first one is the roster form or method or the listing method. The second one is the set builder form or notation or the rule method. In the roster method or listing method, we use braces or curly brackets and capital letters to name or represent the set. Examples. Number one, if you were to list the elements of the set of vowels of the alphabet, the set can be denoted as this. Capital letter V is equal to A-E-I-O-U. V is the name of the set and the elements are A-E-I-O and U. Number two, if you were to list the elements of the set of colors of the rainbow, the set could be denoted as this. Capital letter R is equal to red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. R is the name of the set and the elements are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. And number three, if you were to list the elements of the set of chess characters, the set could be denoted as this. C is equal to king, queen, rook, bishop, knight, and pawn. 
Note that you may use any capital letter in naming a set. In the set builder form or notation or rule method, a set is defined by stating the property or properties that describe all members of the set. In this method, we use a vertical symbol, which is read as such that. Another notation for this is a colon. Let's have some examples. Write each set listed below in a set builder notation. Number 1, A is the set of plus, minus, times, and divide. If we're going to transform this into a set builder notation form, it will be like this, which is read as set A is a set of X such that X is a symbol of fundamental operation in arithmetic. Number 2, L is the set of 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and so on. And its set builder notation will be like this. Set L is a set of Y's such that Y is a number that is a multiple of 5. And lastly, B is the set of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And its set builder notation is like this. Set B is a set of Z's such that Z is a day in a week. On the other hand, we also have examples of not well-defined sets. Number one, the set of famous dances. This is not a well-defined set. Why? Because the word famous is subjective. What famous for me may not be famous for you. Number two, the set of punctual students in your class. This is not a well-defined set also because we may have varied definition of the word punctual. And number three, the set of honest people. Again, this is not a well-defined set because we may have different point of views of the word honest. It's activity time! State whether each of the following sets is well-defined or not. Write your answer in the space provided before the number. Number 1, the set of young politicians. Number 2, the set of types of matter. Number 3, the set of versatile actress. Number 4, the set of all oceans of the earth. Number 5, the set of months containing 31 days. Number 6, the set of tasty food. Number 7, the set of planets in our solar system. Number 8, the set of durable bags. Number 9, the set of consonants in the English alphabet. And number 10, the set of even counting numbers. I will give you 3 minutes for this test.
Let's check your answers. Number one, the set of young politicians is not well defined. Number two, the set of types of matter is well defined. Number three, the set of versatile actions is not well defined. Number four, the set of all oceans of the earth is well defined. Number five, the set of months containing 31 days is well defined. Number six, the set of taste of food is not well defined. Number seven, the set of planets in our solar system is well defined. Number eight, the set of durable bags is not well defined. Number nine, the set of consonants in the English alphabet is well defined. And lastly, the set of even counting numbers is well defined. I hope you get all the answers correct. Congratulations! You just finished the first part of this module. That ends our lesson today. We hope you learned something. See you on our next episode, Captain Angels. Keep safe!